Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jen Marilla and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm excited to get started because we're gonna be doing a review on my latest purchase, the Sony ZV-1. Can I just tell you, I am thrilled to get into this and let the record know that this review on the ZV-1 is for dummies. <laughs> I know the bare minimum about cameras. Everything I know about cameras has come from learning from other people, taking some random online courses. I didn't actually get a degree in this, so understand that the review you're about to see is literally for dummies and why I'm absolutely obsessed with this new camera, I cannot tell you. I'm so excited to get into it. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm your host, Jen Marilla. I am a content creator, blogger, and online business mentor, and I have taught over hundreds of people how to build online businesses. Today, I'm excited because we're gonna get into talking about my review on the Sony ZV-1. This baby is literally a vlogger's dream. I cannot tell you how fun this camera is and how I'm excited to talk to you guys about it today. Before I get into it, I want to let you guys know that I had the old camera that came before this. It was the Sony RX100 point and shoot, which I absolutely loved as well, except it was definitely a little heavier. I will say that it wasn't a vlogger's dream. This camera is really great and it's literally made for video. Like that's the intent of it. That's the point of it. You can take photos. The photos come out really good, but the point is the video, the video quality, which I'm going to show you in a second is beyond exciting. So before I get into it, let's do some housekeeping. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're excited to see what I have to say about this and let the record state that this is a very, very dummy proof review. So if you're someone who's looking to get into photography or vlogging, this camera is for you. It's not that expensive. And the quality of this video is so sexy. I cannot tell you how sexy it is. Oh my God. Okay, just, just wait, just wait and see. First things first, let's look at the camera. Now this is called a dead cat and it actually comes off as you guys can see isn't it a funny name they call it a dead cat and the point of this is so that when you're vlogging you don't get the static or you don't get the noise of the other traffic like it's focuses on your voice but it already comes with a built-in sound it comes with built-in audio as you can see it's right there on the top so it's really practical if you forget the dead cat you have it it's really good i've used it and you'll see in my examples on my trip in mexico where i wasn't using it and it still came out really really good so that was pretty badass so here's a really good tip when you're using this camera you want to make sure that when you turn it vertical, you want to slant it up. Make sure you're looking at the camera lens. So the reason I say this camera is made for vlogging is because, as you can see right here, so normally when you just have a button just for the camera like this is, because obviously you can still take pictures, you have this button here to automatically press record so that you can just start recording. Also, ready for this? Voila, Sony finally did it. Now I'll show you guys an example of in a few minutes about why this is awesome and also detrimental to your vlogging. You'll you'll see what I mean in just a few seconds. Definitely the coolest thing is the built-in sound, the fact that it's a flip screen so that you can actually see yourself and in focus. Right now what I'm using to film and let the record show that I am a Sony girl is the Sony Alpha 6300. And this screen, my screen doesn't actually flip up. I have to connect it to my phone so that I'm able to see when I'm in focus. Now, this camera, the 6300, the Sony Alpha 6300, is really good for photography. It's good for video content as well, but it's not just made for video content, right? Like, this is specifically made for video content. And this has tons of really cool features, which I'm going to dive into in a second, but you guys will understand exactly what I mean. So, let's turn this on. I want you guys to see me on camera. Okay, so as you can see right now, I have the camera on. Now, remember I said two seconds ago that the flip screen could be detrimental and or it could be really important. I mean, it could be really useful. Obviously, I know that I'm in focus. I don't need to actually look at the screen. Right now, I'm looking exactly at the lens as I'm talking to you, right? But if I switch my vision to the camera and what I'm seeing, it probably looks like I'm talking to your ear. So the one thing you want to make sure you do when you're filming is that you're looking exactly at the lens and you're talking exactly to the lens and not to yourself. Something very important to take note of, especially when you're just starting out. Again, the sound works really great and you have a dead cat to attach to it if you feel that you need it. If you're outside, that's when I highly recommend you use it. For the most part, it's pretty good by itself. Other cool feature that I love about this camera is that it's super stabilized. And what I mean is right now I'm holding the camera with my hand. My hand is shaking a little bit because I don't have a steady hand. <laughs> so if you're someone like me who doesn't have a steady hand, you can like lean it on something, but you can't really tell. The stabilization is pretty clear. See, and if I do this, and I move it up and down, it's still pretty stable. So it's not so bad. The second thing I wanted to point out that I thought was a really cool feature is, please hold, there is this button right here. You guys see that? When you press that button, 
I'm gonna show you guys right now. So we're gonna press the button. So as you can see, what it's done is it's blurred out the background and focused directly on me. It's fixed the lighting, literally in full view of me. In an old Sony camera, in the old Sony camera, you have to go into the menu and you'd have to basically need a calculus degree to be able to figure out how to do that. I'm obviously exaggerating, so don't get offended people. <laughs> but it's definitely a lot harder. Whereas like now, it's just right then and there. And not only is that good for filming, but it's also good for lighting when you're filming, not just the focusing, right? Another thing to remember is when I'm filming on a regular camera like this one, like the Sony Alpha 6300, the lighting is a problem. If my lights were dim, the lighting on my face wouldn't be as focused. Like I have a ring light. That's what I use to focus on my face right now. Whereas the vlogging camera, I actually don't need a ring light. Look, I'm gonna turn it off. You can still see my face, it's in clear view, right? Whereas like this camera, it is a little dimmer, it is a little darker. So definitely a really cool feature that they've added. So the really cool thing I wanna point out about this camera is, ta-da! <laughs> the fact that you can film vertically. So let me explain to you guys. In the Sony Alpha 6300, you can't really film vertically. I mean, you could take pictures, but filming vertically would still mean that you'd have to process it into Final Cut and like change the dimension to then be able to import it to Instagram, right? If you wanted to use Instagram stories. They made it so easy with the Sony ZV-1 that you can literally record yourself vertically and it takes about two to three minutes to upload directly to your phone and the quality of the videos are badass. If you're looking to up the quality of your Instagram stories, this is a pretty cool tool that I'm very excited to use as well. Okay, so just a really cool thing that I wanna point out about this camera and the reason why I invested in it, right? And I'm the kind of person that when I invest in camera equipment, I'm looking for practicality and quality. Those are the two things. And if they check off the bucket list, then I'm for it. When I'm referring to practicality, I'm referring to the weight, I'm referring to the size. I used to be a full-time travel blogger, so I had a ton of equipment and carrying a ton of equipment got heavy, also got really expensive and could have been really dangerous. You wanna make sure that it's it's small, it's easy, it's lightweight, and that kind of stuff, right? So the reason I invested in the Sony ZV-1 was because it's small, it's compact, I can actually bring this anywhere with me. I can put it in my purse and I can just take a quick snapshot for photos or I could just do quick videos and it is the coolest. I also wanna point out that it comes with an additional mic for you to pop in just in case you're in an outside area and it's really noisy. If you need to attach a lavalier mic, you actually have the access to do that, which is kind of cool. The Sony RX100 point and shoot did not do that. So so this is also a pretty cool feature. All right, you guys, there you have it. This is my dummy proof review on the Sony ZV-1. I'm so excited to continue to shoot on this camera and create content for you guys. So you will see a lot of this and the quality of this camera coming through. But until next time, I hope you subscribed and I hope you like. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.